know, given the well-earned reputation religious institutions have for pedophilia, you'd think a religious school would know better than to approve a second grade homework assignment that includes a picture of you in the tub. And barring that, you think that at least have the sense enough to get rid of that requirement when someone pointed out how disgusting it is. But if Christianity was a learn from its mistakes kind of thing, they wouldn't still be waiting for the return of Jesus. Which is why I'm not remotely surprised that they, A, issued the assignment, or B, kicked the little girl who refused to do it out of their school. So yeah, this damn near too sinister to be true story comes to us from the Victory Christian Academy in Jacksonville, Florida. And holy shit, is it as bad as it sounds. See, nestled in the homework schedule between stuff like practice Psalms 24 three times and practice spelling list five was the assignment to, quote, send a picture of you doing reading homework in bathtub, end quote. To be clear, there's no context that makes this less perverse. So needless to say, a mom saw this shit and sent a way more polite than warranted note explaining that no, her seven-year-old wasn't going to send her teacher nudie pics. And the teacher's response, according to the relevant police report, was, quote, we have been sending this homework assignment home for years and you're the only one complaining about it. Just cover your child in pillows or pajamas then, end quote. Needless to say, the kids' parents contacted the local sheriff's office to document their concerns. And then, for reasons unexplained, but definitely weren't retaliation for calling the cops on their creepy bullshit, the school kicked the student out of their school altogether. Which, don't get me wrong, is probably best for the kid, but is a pretty fucked up ending to the story. And by the way, I should point out that all the MAGA fucks that accuse teachers of grooming every time they acknowledge the existence of LGBTQ people were curiously silent about this one. So weird. Now, like I said, I'm happy the little girl is out of the ass picks, please, Christian school, but it's not like public schools are nailing it at this point. Case in point, according to a nonprofit that tracks banned books in American schools, the Central York School District in Pennsylvania recently banned a book series called Girls Who Code, which is designed to encourage young women to get more involved in computer programming and STEM fields in general. Now, the school district actually disputes the claim and says that those books are available in their libraries, but there's a lot of reason to believe that they were banned up until the media got a hold of this information. See, the Central York District got into trouble for this bullshit a couple years ago when they decided to ban pretty much every book recommended by their diversity committee. This was, of course, part of the National Republican push against whatever they've scared voters into thinking critical race theory means. And the end result is, of course, coming out against diversity. No doubt this series was banned, however, temporarily, because its goal was to increase diversity in STEM education. And if that diversity went beyond gender balance using only the genders on their abridged list, it would still be forbidden. And on that quick reminder that Republicans are literally pushing for a white men only approach to educational material, and it's the central plank of their political platform, I'll wrap up for the week and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 